us we're going to an amazing place today it's an amazing island right there in Greece I'm talking about the island of Santorini and of course it's one of the Clykids islands in the Aegean Sea and of course it was devastated by a volcanic eruption uh, in the 16th century BC uh, and that's what actually shaped their rugged landscape and you know the whitewashed cubiform houses beautiful very beautiful so if you go to Santorini that's what you're definitely gonna see of course the two principal towns we're talking about fire and or I hope I pronounced that well they actually cling to cliffs above and underwater <laughs> now they actually overlook the sea uh, of course small islands to the west and beaches made up of black red white and lava pebbles oh my gosh totally awesome right I know all right so here's some of the mossy attractions when you decide to visit Santorini okay you could actually discover the famous white and blue houses <laughs> during your trip uh, you know wander into the picture narrow alleys enjoy chic boutique you know luxury hotels with infinity pools or oh, which is what I love so much visit the archaeological museum it's a collection of remains from all the Santorini's uh, including verses from Actori I know you're like shine what's going on this is totally beautiful now another thing you can actually do is take a boat trip around Santorini boat trips are among the best things to do in Santorini and of course uh, there's the famous one day cruise in the volcanic island and um, you need to try that one most definitely you need to all right so yeah so here's some amazing uh, things you can actually also do at it, which is recommended anyway uh, jet skiing parasailing you know, scuba diving, helicopter tours, snorkeling, and of course, a sea kayak. Uh, totally awesome. So, scuba diving, jet skiing, sailing, parasailing, flyboard, hoverboard, and of course, stand up paddle. <laughs> I know, right? A lot of people are like, why should I stand up to paddle? I could just sit down to paddle. But I'm, I'm telling you, it's actually so much fun. And uh, Santorini is absolutely, should I say, traveler's delight. You know, from the colorful houses, the sunsets, beautiful villages. But another thing you should actually think about when you visit Santorini is the yummy Greeky food. I'm going to be telling you more about amazing foods that you should totally try. I'm going to mention them like the fava mi kwaika. I don't know if I pronounced that one well. It's mashed up fava beans. Yeah, I know you'd be like, ah, in Nigeria we have what? Moi moi now. Ah, we blend the beans. <laughs> then tomato gaffetis, which is tomato fritters. And of course, um, sanganaki is fried cheese in phyllo pastry covered in honey really yummy and of course Greek salad which a lot of people actually eat that's the one that oh hey, let me have some Greek salad which you know they sell in almost every restaurant even right here in Nigeria you can actually get it but to get a proper Greek salad you need a proper Greek chef of course there's a kofta it's called it's it's made of ground meat it's kind of like sausages and of course enjoy yourself some Greek wine ah oh, yum yum and uh, roasted Greek lamb is something you need to check out and also moussaka hmm Wow, uh, amazing foods right there in Greece. So if you find yourself in Greece, Santorini, these are the foods you should, you know, really try out. Now here's how much you can actually spend in Santorini. You should spend, or rather you should plan to spend at about um, $120 per day on your vacation in Santorini, which is like the average daily price based on the expenses of the other visitors that have been going in there, or past travelers. Uh, they've spent an average of what, $37 on meals for one day, and of course $15 uh, on local transportation. Uh, how much you can spend for the, your hotel? Uh, in Naira, okay, I'm, I'm gonna talk in Naira now, not in dollars. You can spend a minimum of 10,000 Naira, uh, and you can spend a maximum of 230 thousand naira per night okay so you can actually do the one that your uh, you know your pocket can actually carry you okay so if you can afford to get to Santorini and you're like oh I want to save money for shopping and shop 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 enjoy all the fun spots oh so I rather stay in a cheap hotel it's not bad the hotels there even though cheap the amenities are off the hook now uh, from Lagos to Santorini you can actually spend uh, your return flight should be about uh, 257 thousand uh, naira so let's just put it around figure 258 thousand naira okay uh, I'm sure you've had so much fun because I have had so much fun thank you for enjoying or chilling with me as we journeyed to the Santorini Islands right there in Greece